hustle all year, ain't no day off. 25, hey, ain't no day off. Hustle all year, ain't no day off. 25, hey, ain't no day off. Low G, Ola Varieta, puro raps con la pinche neta. Shit on my name, pero. Yeah, publishing, the plug magazine. I'm Low G. We got a special guest here with us. Who are you, bro? Man, I am the infamous Tex, man. Houston's own, Hustle Town's own, Mr. Hustle Town Network. And we out here, man. Sh salute to my guy right here, man. It's going down. Hey, man, we're honored to have you. I appreciate you coming out here and sitting down with us, tell us the story. Like I told you earlier, we're trying to uh, tell the story of Texas, and we don't want to leave nobody out, especially somebody as important as yourself. Appreciate that, man. That's right, man. And you all the plug, man, so you know I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to deliver it right here, man. It's really going down. We're plugging them in right now, for real, with the facts. So let's go back to history, man. Can you start at the beginning of who Infamous Tex is? Where did he begin at? And why is he an important person today in 2022? Man, it, it's one of them... Uh, everything connected to each other one way you know throughout life so i'd say it started in you know middle school uh, i was always a, a music fan but i guess middle school is when i started to really dig into houston culture like as far as you know dj screw uh you know the fat pad spm you know i think spm was one of the, the the big ones that broke the door down for me with you know trying to figure out you know my houston background and history you know what i mean so i was uh i want to say this was like 99, 2000. So, you know, coming into the Houston music at that time, you know, I had to go back a little bit to find out more about, you know, the beginning of Screw and, you know, just Hungry backtrack. Yeah, oh yeah, back about, you know, learn about Ghetto Boys and, you know, just hearing that and, you know, kind of wanting to dig more into that, Scarface and Street Military. Wow. Um, that's where it really started. And then from there, you know, I did like what a lot of other Houston hip hop heads, my like myself, you know, I started doing music. You know, we all kind of dabble in it. I think, you know, whether you're an artist now or you know, even doing interviews or whatever, it's kind of something we do. So it's, I did that. I, you know, I started music. I was Lil Tex at the time. Okay. Um, and then I had my group, which was SOT, which was now straight out of Texas. It was straight out of Texas Records back then. Okay. Uh, but then I turned it now into the, the contest that we have. So we kind of always, I kind of kept it alive once I started Hustle Town, which, yeah. you know, there was a time where it was just wasn't doing nothing for a while. Gotcha. But I revived, you know, brought that back. But back then at the time, and I first started it as 713, which is spelled out 713, S O T. It was so, just the Houston thing. Pause. You're originally from Houston? Yeah. Okay, born and raised here? Yes, sir. Okay, cool, cool. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, from the Northwest, uh, I went to Jersey Village High School, you know, out there that was, you know, Paul Wall, Camino, were real big at the time. You know, 2001, 2002, you know, Switch Your House, 5050 Twins, Slim Thug, you know, all that was right there, you know, in the in where we were at, you know what I mean? We were just young and hearing these guys and knowing that yeah. these local guys who are, are in, you know, from the Northwest that went to the same school, you know, it's very like, Damn, I can I could do that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so I think it, it just kind of started a trend of other rappers also that were doing freestyle similar to Swish House. It's just kind of I was part of that, you know, out the trunk era, you know, learning you can when I saw Swish House CDs, seeing that, well, this is you could that tell they burnt this. We used and to get like those the, same CDs, you know, yeah. And I used to have those same visions and feelings you're talking about back mm -hmm. in those days. But I was in a small town somewhere else in Texas, mm -hmm. and we used to look at Houston like the New York. Right. Like we had to come yeah, here yeah. to meet all these people and to you, I could only imagine what it felt like to be that these are the local guys mm -hmm. around you. Right. Yes. I'm out. Peace. Hustle all year, I ain't no day off. 25, 